This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out here on our barn edition. Guys, when you live in the Deep South, there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. We live in a hurricane zone, and when you live in a hurricane zone, you can't just go out and nail a board to another board and nail a board to a post and expect it to be okay because when you get 150 to 180 to 90 mile an hour winds coming through, uh, it's just gonna rip it right off. So here, we have to cement our posts in the ground good, we have to anchor everything to the ground really, really good. And then when we put boards on top of stuff, we have to tie them off with different types of hurricane banding and strapping and Simpson plates. There's all kinds of things that code requires that we use here. Now on my edition here, I'm using several different types of hurricane clips, but uh, code requires that we do that here. And it's not a bad thing because a lot of people don't want to abide by codes, but this is one thing that will save your structure. So it's a good thing. So we're gonna take a look at some of the different types of banding now. Okay, now this is called a hurricane strap here. Now this is an 18 inch one. You can get them in 18, 24, and 36 inch lengths here. This is made so that you can actually take it and you bend it actually over the top of a plate and down on each side the studs on a wall in order to uh, lock the studs to the plate so that it can't pull the top of the plates loose from the studs. The uh, 24 inch ones is for larger walls and then you can go up to 36 inch ones for two by six walls. Or you can actually use this as a strapping. And that's what we've done here. We've strapped our, our girders up here onto our post with them. And we've nailed it in really good. We've done that to every one of our posts. And where two boards join at, we put one on each side. So we have two of them on a, uh, a girder here holding the girders on in case of a storm trying to jerk something off. Okay, these are the larger, uh, we call them hurricane uh, straps. They, they're twisted. They're made to actually hold a rafter onto a girder or a top plate in a house. We've got these on each side of our lumber here because it requires this type. I'm going to show you a different style in a minute for where the lumber is just single at. Okay, this is the other type of uh, uh, hanger here, a joy strap, hurricane strap, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's in a diamond shape. The, uh, the rafter actually slides right down into here and you nail it from the sides and then you drive your nails in here that actually holds uh, the rafter down. This is another one of the hurricane strapping that we use here. And I'm fixing to start installing these but when you do this here, guys, also because of code, you can't just drive any nail in it. I'm going to show you the nail. Okay, you have these nails here. These are called joist hanger nails. Now, they have a number or a letter on the head of them. They're stamped on them. That tells the uh, inspector whether you have the right nail for the right job. These particular ones have a 28 stamped onto the head of them. Each one of these numbers represent a different thing to the inspector. One of the main things is some of them are longer than others. If you'll notice here in my hand, I'm trying to move them, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Some of the nails are a lot longer than other nails, which means they are for different applications. So you have to pay attention to which joist hanger nail you're getting for which job. So I'm about to get up and uh, nail these plates on here and show you how that these uh, these type go on. one of these has about 10 nails I put in here. These two are so close to the bottom edge here I'm not going to put them on. These three right here should be, should be sufficient with them two there. 
Um, I usually try to put a nail in every hole, um, but so far I've got 10 nails in it. They hold 12, um, but I think that'll be all right for what we're doing because I got to put one on every rafter across here now. So we're going to move over and show you one more place that we got to put hurricane strapping. Okay, guys, this is another type of hanger that we have here. This is called a joist hanger. Now, these come in several different sizes. You have them for two by fours, two by sixes, and two by eights. This particular one here is for a two by eight. Uh, I don't have the two by six ones just at the moment. Uh, we've got to run to town again later to pick those up from the hardware store. Uh, it was one of those things I thought I had in my stop, but I did not. I only have two by eight ones. Uh, so we're going to get these put on, but the two by six ones are almost identical to these. They're just a little bit shorter at the top here. Uh, and that's what, uh, that's the other type of uh, hanger that we're going to use and hurricane strapping that we're going to use here to help secure our roof down in the event of bad weather. Okay, this is where the joist hangers will go. Um, they'll nail to the band against the wall and on the sides of the rafters going up there. That's what will help hold and tie the roof to the wall of the barn. Okay, guys, um, I've got most of the strapping and banding up on here on all, all the posts and stuff. I've got a few more I've got to run to the hardware store and pick up. Uh, I'm a little, a little bit short on the twisted ones and I'm, uh, and I'm short on the joist hangers. So, um, you don't always have what you need on a homestead. I have a lot of stuff in stock, but I don't necessarily have everything I need in stock. So I do have to go back to town and get a few more. And when I get those, we'll be completely finished with, uh, with nailing our barn roof on and getting it as hurricane proof as possible. There's still no guarantees. A tornado can still rip something off. I mean, there's no guarantees, but at least by doing this, we've done and taken every precaution that we can to save our roof during the bad weather that we have here. So thank y'all from Deep South Homestead.